Hey guys, had the opportunity to hang out with some family and got the opportunity to drive this thing on the weekend. So I figured I'd share my, uh, should I say a decent owner kind of vision on this truck. I was very impressed oh, how well it had uh, stayed in its lane. That's my biggest thing with Raptors and soft suspension. I think it would have, I would have thought it would have a hard time maintaining a steady line and keeping it straight. But, you know, it's fairly well tuned, really well tuned, far exceeded my expectation. Um wanted to do a little review on this truck because a raptor would be one of them trucks i'd be interested if i was a diesel owner and out there just to have some fun not necessarily do heavy duty towing and some extreme towing if i call it that um you know truck could still tow eight thousand pounds just fine has the power um when i hook up a gooseneck to it, but you know you got your hitch do truck stuff with it so this is one of, this is a truck one of them interesting fellas would have and what i mean by interesting Fellas, they'll be interested in all kinds of toys, if I call them that. So, by driving this truck, let me share my experience and give you a little walk around this truck. Very impressed. As I said, my biggest concern was how, you know, you get a little, you lose a little kind of deal with soft suspension. So, my thing was going down the road and not doing this, you know, not flowing. It didn't. It did very well. That's, I was very impressed with that. I can't stress that enough. So it got that out of the way, you know, the engine and transmission for what it what for what it is and the, what it was um is very sh fairly sharp the way it responds. It has a 10 speed auto. You know, I got the 3.5 engine. Ford really figured out how to light up them turbos, not create a springy feeling. So, is it a, does it feel like a big old V8? No. But it really I couldn't ask for more as far as a 3.5. Uh, my buddy has a regular 3.5 first gen and you get more of a springy feeling in the in the throttle you guys know what i'm talking about now as far as the this is an 18 raptor they they definitely got their tuning down i highly doubt someone tuned it obviously i didn't buy it brand new but nor does my uh, brother-in-law know of anyone tuning this thing so it's, it's it's a snappy stock truck is what i'm applying to so for someone that just wants to mess around with the pickup and still have a a bed and do truck kind of stuff and have fun this is definitely something you should look into because it's a gas engine you know you start it up give it a few minutes and go to town you don't have to have those big diesel expenses if you know what i'm saying you diesel truck owners know how it is so anyways as far as the truck it goes you guys know i don't really i don't spend a lot of time with gas powered trucks because anytime i need a truck because i need a tail gooseneck so it has to be a diesel because it's fairly heavy kind of trailer going behind it but having the opportunity and the privilege to drive one of these and ride in one of these i was very impressed i mean you could probably tell them in the video um uh, i'm very impressed how well the the stock suspension is tuned to how soft it is at the same time it keeps the lane just fine lane of travel um so yeah let me show you around Another uh, gas-powered engine I'd really be interested. You guys know I like my Caddy. That 6.2 engine always always impresses me for the power and the gas mileage it provides. It's another vehicle I'd look into. But sorry, Ram, I'm going to have to leave you on this one. The Hemi and the gas is just... I don't know. I'm just not into that stuff. I don't get it. And I think that might be my biggest problem with Hemi. Um, the power, okay, it's there. The gas mileage is crap and then when you when you stack it up to what the competitor is doing with the same with the same leader is then you're like dang it what is going on you know like why can't ram uh hold on a second, guys why can't ram step step up the game and and do something better as far as power goes but that's about it i ain't complaining i'm just saying i'm with chevy and ford on their gas powered stuff that's an afe powered intake which is nice. It definitely helps uh, lighten up the lighten up the throttle response. Either these things rattled out or someone ran out of clips. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to share my opinion, my experience. It's it's pretty clear. I wasn't uh, I wasn't expecting a vehicle of this caliper to maintain lane the way it does and handle high speeds the way it does. No, it's not a sports car. Ford, man. I hate it and I love these things. It wears me out. 
it scares me to be honest with you going through car washes but yeah i mean what more do you can i say besides this is one fun toy that's the, that's the simplest way i can put it that's why i started out the video talking about uh if you don't need a diesel you should look into one of these because they're very interesting vehicles to ride in it's not one of them vehicles you put in driving and, and you enjoy it one of the vehicles you put in driving and come off ways how can you enjoy the trip or do a little shortcuts and use these knobby tires anyways boys just a friendly little video for all my boys out there thinking do i really need a diesel do i really need to go through all this diesel stuff and you want a gasser i know raptor uh raptor had its foot down for quite the while for these segment uh, trucks let's see what the trx is gonna do i know it's something I know TRX is going to rattle the cage for Raptor. I mean, they're definitely going to beat them in one year, the first year that they're out. But we'll see what Raptor responds with. Uh, besides the TRX being, being gas-powered truck, there's nothing in the Ram lineup and gas power that would interest me. That's just the way it is. I'll bite their 1500 Eco uh, diesel. That's what they're called, Eco diesels, yeah. You know, we would really consider their supercharged TRX. But just a good old Hemi, nah much rather have me a uh a 6.2 um for reliability fuel economy i mean I, i'm really a chevy guy when it comes to gm i'm really a gm guy when it goes it comes to gas ford they're okay um 3.5 are very fast engines i mean for the way this thing moves on the on the interstate very impressed um it's only a matter of time i think this has the gen 3 3.5 so i'm gonna have i have high expectations of them given the fact that ford had all the time to uh iron out iron out all the issues with these 3.5s um gas mileage isn't the greatest but given the suspension and the tires i mean I, I don't expect it to get great gas mileage i think he's averaging in about 15 but as far as longevity that's what i want to see i want to see these trucks with high mileage specifically these engines it doesn't have to necessarily be the raptor it could be the just a good old f-150 with the 3.5 turbo but just looking at from the sidelines there's they're fairly stressed out engines and i think if you get always run premium i might require premium i'm not very adverse with the 3.5 i could only imagine does most important really good oil i think you should get some good life out of those third gens or these third gens anyways boys as always may the lord bless you and may almighty fine day ciao bye